Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna need you to brace yourselves for these TikTok parents. I get a picture of this. Step back. Yeah, you heard me. Mike, Man, so step you, back. You Don't touch my up. phone. Are you crazy? Is you crazy? Do uh -oh. not touch me or Excuse my phone. Me. Take, a step, back, Take a step back, sir. Take a step back. Both of us. Take a step back now. Please take a step back now. Take a step back. Sit back Mom. In our seat. Mom, please take a step back again. Mom. I asked you to give me a moment. Mom. Take a step back. You're being Mom. rude and disrespectful. Giving you a moment. Take a step, step back. Take a step back. Take a step back. Thank you. Take a step back. Take a step back. I asked you to give me a moment. Now take a step back. No. Let's go. Where's your ticket, bub? Thank you. It's okay. Just give me just a second. Here you go. Thank you. Excuse us. Excuse us. Thank you. Take some decorum. That's all it takes is decorum. I asked you to give me a second. No, and you got down in my face. Like, I because you turned no, away from me. No, what? I did not, ma'am. I said, give wow. me a second. The phone's in the lights. You, and you are not my mother. I said, give I me a second. Not. You're not. I'm not I said, a no, woman. No, no, you're not. Really? And I asked you to give me a moment. Really? No, thank you. Without looking at me. Ma'am, I did look at I you. Thank you. I don't, I don't deserve, you don't deserve anything else from me. I do, right. Guys, come on, let's go, okay? <laughs> let's take a step down. We're going to slide down, okay? Example. Yeah. What you did. Wonderful. Wow, example. what you did. And I have it on video and I cannot wait to post it. Go get her. Go get her. Mary, where did the manager go? Oh, who's the Karen The gentleman now? that was here. <laughs> yeah, page him, please. And can you get um, Manchester PD on the phone? I'd like to press charges. You're gonna press charges oh, on me. Oh, yes. most yes. definitely. I'm gonna oh, yes. Most on definitely. Me. I'm gonna press charges. They'll see. Okay. 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 So that was a lot to unpack there. Oh yeah. No, that's definitely, definitely assault. Definitely assault. So what happened here? She says that you were on your phone. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of annoying in a movie theater, but not really worthy of a punch i would say what happened leading up to this we have info in the comments <laughs> her child happened to be sitting in the wrong seat instead of behaving like an adult the other lady started getting rowdy okay okay i thought it was about being on the phone in the theater not really a big deal not a big issue we don't need to be assaulting people furthermore that like this comment said out of many empty seats is crazy like Okay, I can understand someone sitting in your seat. You're on an airplane, they refuse to move, blah, blah, blah. That might make you angry. But as far as I can tell, this is a whole uh -huh. theater that's completely empty. Pretty much, you guys are the only people in there. Not a big deal. Regardless of what happened before this, there is no reason to get rowdy and punch people and push people around. No. Not allowed. The minute you lay your hands on another person, <laughs> you could get charged with assault. So don't. <laughs> All right, there's a part two. Oh, I love a part two. I love a good part two, a cheeky little part two. Yeah, all I needed was a moment. I asked her for a moment to compose myself and gather the kids. I had so much stuff. And, and you deserve a little moment. You deserve a moment. You made a mistake. You sat in a seat that wasn't yours. It is what it is. Ain't no reason to get all rowdy. <laughs> Apparently I also have permission from <laughs> from the people in the Southern United States to do the Southern accent. Despite the nasty emails I get sometimes from people who get upset, I'm gonna go with the majority rule. And that means Charlotte can do whatever <laughs> she wants. Literally, I am just a character actor looking for an excuse. <laughs> oh man, let me live. This is the closest thing I will get to being a character actor. Well, I mean, maybe I wouldn't go that far, but for now, I have the microphone. Run in the middle of oh, son of a back up back up back, back up, up back up back get up. out of my way back up okay? i'm just gonna put it back you can keep moving it I i'm just care. gonna put it back i'm just gonna keep putting it get out of my face crazy get yeah. out of my face get the f out get to the f and touch me here, don't f touch me. don't my be touching dogs. nobody dude yeah you heard me <laughs> nobody's home crazy
Ain't no fucking way. Okay, what's happening here? Are you the pool dude? Are you the pool dude? Okay, we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some context here. We had just got done building this pool. Like we just got done with it, and we were filling up the water in the pool to like test the stability of the pool and seeing if it could like if it could hold it if we if we did a good job or not. So it's there's no chemicals. It's just straight water. Now I know we could have went about the situation a whole different way. Like we could have just let her be Karen, but obviously the lady was off of her meds. And she just simply did not want us near her property. But we were doing our job, and we were sitting at the truck, and she walks up to the truck and says what we're doing is illegal. She didn't ask any questions. She didn't do anything in that nature. She just straight up, straight to business, and says that we was doing illegal things. And we proceeded to tell her that what we were doing was completely fine, and it was management approved. We were already got told by our manager what we were doing was perfectly fine. There's no chemicals in the water. We were just draining it to drain it. We needed the water out because we still had work to do. But then she wasn't taking what we were saying, so she decided to take matters into her own hands. She was trying to say that the water into the drain was going under her house and just sitting under her house. So my coworker had to tell her. All right, so then she, she proceeded to be a, a little yapper doodle started yapping okay i'm sorry but like a drain like that does not drain under a house it probably goes into like a sewage system and then like either gets treated or goes to a river what do you think happens when it rains you think that drain just goes right under your house and then floods your basement no it goes to a drainage system talking about blah 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 but i just wanted to get on with the job so i went over Good property run in the middle of Don't have a back up back up back, back up. up back up she proceeded to try to fight me over the hose. And during trying to get the hose from me, she attempted to kick me. So at this point, I'm, I'm fed up with the whole situation. And anything and anybody in my way was getting to work. And unfortunately for this lady, it was her dogs. Ugly ass dogs. Been working on this pool for a while. And we know the owners and they're cool with us. We've been, we've been working there for a minute. And, but the lady was trying to go and get some confirmation from the owners but they weren't even there nobody's home crazy all right at this point in time i went to the backyard to turn off the water pump so it could stop draining the water because that was her main concern and when i came back to the front she was on the phone with her brother or lover or whatever it was probably both she's already tried talking to our managers she called the county she did all types of stuff and obviously nobody was on this lady's side so clearly nobody's coming to save you elizabeth it's already escalated Yeah, nobody can come over here. Alright, so she went on to say how much money she spent on the company and how much work we've done for her. But my, my coworker was just telling her that she was dumb. But my coworker was fired, so I'm not about to sit here and put him on blast or put his parts in here, but he he told her that she was that she sounded dumb. He didn't say that she was dumb, but he said that she sounded dumb. You sound dumb. Okay, I definitely appreciate the context. Thank you so much. You know, this just looks like a case of someone who's really genuinely uninformed. Really uninformed about what happens with regards to drainage systems. <laughs> when it rains, rain goes down this drain, right? Rain goes down the drain. Where do you think the drain goes? Unless there's an issue with your drainage system, Karen, that drain does not lead under your house. Someone needs to explain to Karen calmly and collect it. Did she like take the hose to her house? Where's she taking that hose? Oh no, no. I thought she took it inside. <laughs> Jesus. God, the amount of people that get upset about like contractors uh. being in the neighborhood, doing work. Like, I feel like this is a common thing, no? Are people unaware that like, you know, if you live in a neighborhood, you have a house, there's going to be people working sometimes that don't live in the neighborhood. You know that, right? Karen, it's an Octabuddy. Chill. Oh.
Okay, okay. Um, I see we're upset at people taking videos when they're out. Not necessary to be sassy. Ain't no big deal. You don't want to be in the video, just move out of it. What is an octabuddy? Wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm I'm a millennial. I don't know what an octabuddy is. Octabuddy. Oh, that thing? Okay, so this is the, it's like something where you put on the back of the phone so that you can like stick it to like a window or something. Am I understanding that correctly? <laughs> she, she's just coming over to see, how is that phone floating there? How is that phone floating? I mean, listen, I know that lots of people don't like it when people take videos in public, but at the same time, it's like, just let them take their video. It'll be over really fast. Like you're just making it last longer than it needs to. This looks like a hater to me. I know a hater when I see one. Sorry, I'm just like rewatching it, trying to assess what's going on in this situation. Who's the Karen? Who's the Karen here? Oh yeah, okay, not necessary. This part about her trying to pour the drinks on them. No, like no. All right, I think I know who Karen is. Spot the Karen. As a millennial, we do not claim her as our own. We would be partying it up with you. Like literally, we're like, clearly we're out. We're in public. We're at a fun dance party. There's gonna be people taking videos and having fun with their friends. What does it matter if someone is trying to film it? You know what I mean? Just move. If you don't wanna be in the video, just move. There's no reason why we need to like get all sassy and be pouring our drinks on people and pretend to just pour our drinks on people. That's not necessary. What the quack, quack. Relax. Don't want to be in public in a crowded club? Then don't go out in public in a crowded club. Like, honestly, I'm a millennial and I would probably get in the video with them. <laughs> Why not? Who cares? I think she was just confused how it stuck. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know what that is, it's like a sticky thing. Oh my God, I have one right here. No, stop. Oh my God, I'm such a Gen Z. Okay, look at this. So you stick this on the back of the phone. <laughs> I can't believe I have it right next to me. This is what an Octobuddy is, okay? This one's kind of off-brand. I got it on Amazon, so it's not a real Octobuddy, but you you stick it on like a glass or something. It's it's honestly amazing. Like it really, really helps the content creation process because you don't need to bring a tripod with you everywhere. You know what I mean? So you stick the phone and it kind of looks like it's just floating there. I was gonna say, maybe she's just confused about how the phone just kind of sticks there, but then I saw her try to pour the drinks on them. Yeah, I remember why I don't, um, I don't like this because like if I put my phone down that it, it sticks to the table. It's like aggressive too. It's like I need to like pull it off use all my strength. You're tired of the Karen at the other table passively talking crap about you. Media, I like to be in the present not like you guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're capturing the present. What present? The presence of me. Me. I am we're the present. We're capturing the memories. <laughs> I smell a hater. I smell a hater. Did you hear what she said? She said, I like to be in the present. I like to be in the present moment, not like you guys. Okay, I'm sorry. Since when is taking a photo with your friend not allowed? Like since when are we not allowed to do that? God, haters do be hating. They do be hating. Look, granted, it depends on how many photos they were taking, all right? If they're just like constantly making like a scene and, you know, disturbing other people while they're having lunch, we don't know what happened before, okay? We really don't. But listen, if someone is just taking a photo or a video and they're out in public and they're having fun, they want to capture the moment, maybe they haven't seen their friend in a while. Like, since when do we not take photos of moments so that we can remember them? Like, I'm sorry, maybe you don't want to remember that moment. Do we not have like family photos from like, this is not something new, you know? Like if I look back, my parents would have probably been like Instagram stars, you know? The amount of pictures they have taken of like themselves and like us as kids with like a film camera, it's astonishing. And honestly, sometimes things like, dad, why did you take that photo of us? <laughs> That's not something we need a photo of, honestly. But like, I have pictures of my parents like in their bathing suits looking super hot and super young. Like why were they allowed to do it with a film camera, you know? Let people live, let people enjoy their lives, fuck. I get a picture of this! You. Okay, I'm not cussing at you. Yeah, kiss my You'll end up killing somebody in this piece of Never get even. You. 
God bless you. Have a good day. Hey, yeah, God bless, God you, bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, he's still reeling. Yeah, I have to gas in. I couldn't gas in my car. She got blasted into traffic, and we were stopped, and she got swerving by me, and just missed the front of my truck, and got from the fast lane to the slow lane, and kept on all that. She thinks she don't fuck up with her fancy turbocharged Mercedes Benz. I'm sorry. Sorry. Have a good day. Well, more people like me need to tell him what they need to do. I'm young. I'm listening to you. I respect him. I'm listening to him. I respect him. I'm listening to him. He's my elder. He's an old man. He's my elder. I commend you on your response. You are my elder, sir. I'm listening to you. You are just so elder. God bless you, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna need uh, some context, okay? I get a picture of this. Thank you. Okay, I'm not cussing at you. Get a picture of this. <laughs> Turbo charge for Mercedes Benz. Want story time. So I'm gonna give y'all a story time. And to those of y'all saying that I'm in the wrong and I have no idea what happened, you. Okay, so I was driving on a beautiful Tuesday, minding my business. I had just merged into traffic on the same street that this old man was on. And, and I'm going to show you all my relative position on the road. So I was in the middle lane. He was in the left lane, like this car right here. All right. So I'm in the middle right. Imagine there's a car right in front of me. And the right lane is completely blocked off. I literally cannot merge into the right lane, even though I can turn right, because it's just a long kind of car. So I'm like, the only way I'm available to move through traffic is if I go to the left and merge all the way right. He's about to pass with the car in the middle, like right next to me. So I'm like, okay, let me get behind him. And I got behind him. And the moment I got behind him, he brake checked me. So I was just like, what? Like, you were literally about to pass with the car in the middle lane, but because I got behind you, you want to brake check me? Like, no, you're a f***ing meter. Mind y'all, he literally had nobody in front of him. Like, out of all the lanes that was packed full, he just so happens to be in a lane that had nobody in front of him. So I'm like, I'm just looking at it like, okay, if I merge behind him, he's going to pass with this car in the middle lane, and I'm going to have enough time to merge all the way to the right and turn right and go to the gas station, okay? And I, got, I used my blinker, and it's like, so he knew what I was going to do. And he probably honestly saw me lane changing like before I even got behind him, but like, I had nothing to do with him. I'm trying to move through traffic. I'm not endangering your life. I'm just trying to get where I need to go because I'm about to be late. All of a sudden you want to break. And other people have merged behind you to not do it. But the moment is he and his big, 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 Okay, so after he pulled that stunt, I was like, well, he's giving me enough room. Like, he's really in his car. I can literally see his eyes glued to my car, just look at my car. So he did all that just to maybe stop me so he could have a time to observe. I don't know. So he's doing that. I'm like, okay, I'm going to cut you off. So I cut him off because I had a whole car system in front of him because after he was about to pass that car up and he brake checked me, all of a sudden he was driving slow as hell and gave me enough room. So boom, cut him off. So I literally merged back right to the middle lane where I was literally just at behind the car. I was just moving slow because it's full brake. Now they're about to pass him. And he was so stuck looking at my car that he gave me a full car system to cut him off. So I literally did. Like, I, the hell? What? what, what? And like I said, the only reason I was doing that was usually because I needed to merge all the way right to turn right on the gas station. So it's like, normally I can do that, and I do it in a safe way, but I was not prepared to get brake check. I think I'm completely fine because, like, there's no way that what just happened could even lead to road rage. Like, that was, like, so minimalistic you know, that you started it, but okay, let me just, I digress. So, I'm about to hop out my car, or, like, turn my car off and hop out my car. I look your skirt! Like, I hear a lot of skirt. I look to my right. Wait, he chased after you? Is already right next to me, is already yelling. I'm like, whoa. I'm in shock. So I'm just looking at him. Like, I'm just looking at him so clean. I'm in shock because, like, you really fall? You have white hair on your face and you look old as hell, shorter than me. And you really chase me to come scream at me. And I'm honestly looking serious. So, like, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and be quiet. And it's like, you know what you did? You just thought you were going to get away with what you did. You didn't know that my car was that fast. Or maybe you did, but you just didn't want to see it. And the fact that I was still able to get in front of you and have my way made him livid. Trying to antagonize for saying, get your hand off my car. I'm thinking he's going to kick my car because he kept looking at the front of my car like he wanted to kick it so bad. So I'm just like, I don't even want to deal with this. Like, I'm just not even going to do anything. Like, I'm just not going to do anything. I'm going to let him tire himself out. Like, you can keep screaming. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I think I get the point. I think I get the point. <laughs> As someone who doesn't really drive, the nuances of road rage drama kind of go over my head sometimes. Like, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was really trying to follow along. <laughs> Point being, to sum it all up, Buddy brake checked her, as in he braked really fast for no reason. So she pulled in front of him and cut him off because she thought he was giving her the license because he slowed down. And then he got mad and chased after her and chased her into the gas station and started yelling at her. Bottom line, really, honestly, like the amount of shit that I see on the road where it's like, nah, it's your fault, no, that's your fault. It's like everybody thinks that they're in the right on the road, all right? If there is one thing that I have learned, even if someone is completely in the wrong, they will still say F <laughs> you to you. What are you going? Buddy, like you're literally in a bike lane, like move. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Everybody's gonna think that they're in the right. You flip them the bird, you say f you, and you move on with your day, okay? Bottom line, everybody's a fucking idiot on the road. There's been times when I've been an idiot on the road and there's been times where I've watched other people be idiots on the road, okay? Nobody's innocent, but you don't 
chase after somebody to yell at them because you're pissed off about being cut off. <laughs> Just take the L. Take the fucking <laughs> L. Yeah, and people are gonna be like, oh, well, you shouldn't cut people off. Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, you also are not allowed to be chasing after people and then yelling at them on the road either. I remember that from my test. I'm like, oh, I should probably remember this one because <laughs> I could see myself being a very petty driver. Road rage in and of itself is not a criminal offense. However, there are many types of behavior that can escalate and lead to criminal charges. These charges may include assault, assault with a weapon, mischief, dangerous driving, careless driving. So the point is, don't let it get to a point where you're chasing after people and yelling at them, all right? Diffuse, always diffuse. Understand that everybody's a fucking idiot on the road, especially in Toronto. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. All right, maybe there was a little bit of uh, negative energy in this video. Shall we do some, some Reiki? I swear I don't worship the devil, despite what some people say when I do Reiki. I don't, I just wanna make you feel better. It's okay, it's just a video. Some of them are probably fake, honestly. <laughs> don't worry, there's no negativity here. Who cares? Who cares? Be calm, cool, and collected. It's just a video. It's just a video of some Karens and some fake Karens and people posting things for views, okay? It's all good gonna go about your day and have an amazing one maybe it's the weekend I don't know I don't know when this upload goes up but I'm sure you're gonna have an amazing day now now that all the energy the negative energy is gone thank you very much for joining me on this very special day this is good